Well, with us right now from Seven Day Dental, our Dr. Christine Chung. Also, John Chandra is here today. Good to see you both, Thank as you. always. Happy holidays Good to morning. you. Good morning. Good morning to you. We are uh, going to talk about a couple different things. You sent us a slide over about veneers, am I yes. right? Yes. So, first, here's a kind of a before and after thing. I want you to tell us what veneers are, why would somebody choose these, and how are they different than maybe. I don't know, crowns or, or something else? Right, good questions. So we start with the slide. <clears throat> this patient, he's in his early 30s. Mm -hmm. um, actually, I, I, I'm I sorry, I don't have a very uh, picture of before, way before he came in. He got crooked teeth and unproportional size mm -hmm. teeth. As you can see, the two central um, teeth are not proper, uh, proportionally sized. Right. So what we did was he give him we give him twelve months of braces. Okay. Straighten the teeth, and still that small space in between. Mm -hmm. um, we did the veneer, and which is veneers are very minimally um, reduced size of the enamel. Okay. We don't really grind down the whole tooth structure. It's just the facial aspect of the tooth, and when and then we it's like a, a thinny jacket that we bond over the tooth. Okay. And that we were able to cover the space. It's called di or diastema, and the patient is so happy. Look at the before and after. I mean, we give him a perfect smile. That's what he always wished to have um, all his life. He's his thirties, uh, in the early thirties, and. He was so appreciative and he said, I couldn't thank you enough because you give me the smile that I want. Uh, compared to when he came in, it was all crooked, space all over. So we were managed to close all the space in, yeah. in the back, just a little bit space still in the middle. But because of his unproportional size of the two teeth, we were ab mm -hmm. able to close that gap and also to make the teeth a little bit longer so that it's more proportional to his face. So and let me ask you, does the veneer wrap completely around the tooth or just the front? Well, it depends. Um, we can have a partial veneer, which is okay. just wrap around the front and a little bit in the back, or a full porcelain, uh, and that is depending on the cases. Okay. Let's say if the patient has um, severely decayed tooth, mm -hmm. uh, we have to remove all the, all the decay. Sometimes we have to fully crown or veneer that okay. tooth, yes, okay. um, and it's full porcelain, so it's very natural, and it's 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 um, like a tooth structure, your own tooth. Okay, so yeah. the patient isn't gonna once they get these on, they're not gonna feel anything different. No, you know, like no. the back of the tooth, a little crease or something. No, know? yeah, okay. we make sure that it's all flush and smooth and everything before the patient leaves. So, and they last for how long? Well, any anything we don't want to guarantee a lifetime, mm -hmm. but um, on the average, any crowns, any restoration, it should last five years. Okay. But I have patients who have veneers and crowns that last them 10, 20 years. Okay. Depending on how they would take care of it. Okay. You know, it's it's wear and tear. Sometimes they wear it and they buy on a fork or a bone and they right. chip it. I mean, you chip your teeth, you can chip right. your porcelain. Exactly. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's depend on the patient lifestyle too, yeah. Let's talk about just in general periodontal disease and uh, it's something, you know, I've heard that almost all of us have at one point or another. Yeah, so um, early signs of periodontal disease or gum disease would be bleeding. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you brush and floss, if you find minimal bleeding, it's normal. But when you see quite often that happens and a little bit more bleeding than you should see, that's an early sign of gum disease. Okay. And why is that? It's because you have plaque buildup. And where does the plaque coming from? It's from your food. So after you eat, mm -hmm. bacteria start to build up, build up around the gum, uh, your teeth. And if you don't brush well, you don't floss well, it takes about 24 hours for the plaque to get calcified. And once they get calcified, it becomes harder. That's why you call calculus. Okay. And when it's so hard, a normal toothbrush or flossing, won't, you won't be able to remove all that. So um, it's, it's kind of like um, a hit and miss where patients, they, they think that they 
don't have to go to the dentist when they say they think it's normal mm -hmm. but actually I would recommend or advise patients if there's any abnormal that you find because it's in your mouth you should know seek the dentist early signs of gum disease is bleeding bad breath and then you know all that will eventually lead to tooth loss because you would lose all the bone and the periodontal ligaments which is the attached uh, tooth to the bone right exactly yeah so those are the early signs so should you see a dentist when you have bleeding right That's the first time that okay. you see okay yeah. makes a lot of sense yeah. so you get that What's it, the calculus? In calculus there? all removed. Yeah. So when you go to the dentist, we we do a very thorough exam. We would do X-rays and check how your bone level mm -hmm. is at current, and we measure the pockets to see if you have any periodontal pockets. Pockets are very important because for healthy teeth, your pockets should be uh, one, two, or three. But if you hear, and we're the dentist, talking about the space between the, the gum and the and tooth. the bone, yeah. 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 Uh, you know when they use the instruments right. and measure and, and then they, the, the dentist will call out two, three, four, right. five, six and the assistant would sit there and chart or record the numbers. The bigger the numbers, the, um, the worse it gets mm -hmm. because when you have deep pockets, that means that every time you eat, food will deposit on those pockets and there's no way you can brush underneath those pockets when you have five, six millimeters. The toothbrush right. is just too big. Right. So with, uh, with us, dentists or hygienists, we have special tools that we go in, uh, the machine, or, or it's called Cavatron, and we irrigate at the same time and scale out all these tartars or bacteria, and that will help improve the pockets. Okay. When your pocket is eliminated or improved, uh, you have less chance of build up right. those bacteria or tartar um, on a daily activity, eating and all that. Very yeah. good, yeah. And you know, with, with those bacteria that cause gum disease also, it's gonna lead to tooth decay. So whenever you have a sensitive tooth, call us. That's a good point, yeah. Yes. Don't wait, because when you have a sensitive tooth, maybe it's an early signs of a decay tooth or a recession of the gum. But if you wait longer, any cavity will get bigger, not smaller. And eventually, from a small filling to a big filling, or maybe you need a crown, and it's too big, too deep, you probably end up with a root canal treatment. Yeah, you don't want that. You don't want that. So only, I, I can't stress enough, important of routine recall, three months, six months, or even if you just see the dentist within a month and then you start to feel anything right. unusual, bleeding again, sensitive tooth, give us a call. All right. Now, speaking of someone who is sensitive to maybe helping <coughs> some of your, your patients keeping a little bit of money in their pocket, you've got some nice holiday. We do, uh, we do. Deals. And you know what? Uh, I, I also want to say that doctor handles the technical end. My end's so important because I, I check the pulse of everybody basically on how they feel about their experience with seven day right. dental. And the more information that you can give me community, um, I appreciate it. It just helps us be better. So right now we have our 20% normal discount. We have our 5% normal discount for veterans and we're also um, showing some kind of uh, Christmas discount. Yeah, uh, with the holidays we do give some special promotion. If you come in, we can give free consultation bleaching at a discounted rate. Okay. We also have the monthly drawing going, which we're giving uh, coupons for grocery stores Great. to our patients. Give back to the community. Um, and you can get a hold of me if you want to talk about how we're doing at uh, any of the stores, but you can, our offices, but you can contact our Laguna Woods office and just ask for John, and they'll get it to me, and I'll return okay. the call. And we appreciate you very much here at the community. Thanks for coming on. And of course, the website on the screen is very easy, 7daydental.com. And the Laguna Hills office is 949-859-3988. Good to see you both. Excellent. Thank, Thank you for having us. Thank you for we'll having us. We'll be right back. Thank you.